That's neat, isn't it? We're sitting here starting our second session. I just wanted to like highlight this little detail, which is that the people you've assembled into your squad so far all show up in this spooky infinite hallway that's clipping through the building back there or whatever the hell's happening over there at the transparency. But anyway, uh, yeah, you get to see them all running in this hallway together as a squad and so on. And it's like a pretty alright start screen. When we first started, it was just Juno, and now it's Juno and Vela. And as we get more characters, they will also join in. That was oddly deathly and spooky, how it just kind of faded away like that, but okay. Ah, it has a copy feature. That is a less seen feature in saving feature settings for like any game, basically. What do we want to do next? So I think I pretty clearly finished the last planet I was on. So I could pick a new character if I wanted to. Eh. I'll keep going as Vela. I'm trying to remember. I think Vela said she was trying to save Lupus. And I would like to get Lupus. There we go. That's where we left off anyway. It'd be nice if I could go find- go track down Lupus. So I've looked into this game a little bit more. And- oh. It's just a bar of gold just hanging out. I think in order to beat, uh, Jet Force Gemini, you have to save every single tribal. Uh, I think that's part of the process of beating the game, eventually. But we'll see about that. I might have to- I might have to do some extra homework in the future. Could be fun, though. Because, uh... The first level I played, obviously, there's no abilities yet, so I just, like, went through and, uh... Just like, ah, oh, gotta mi fix my mistake and go get the ones I missed the first time. Was all that it really came down to. Oh boy. These guys are assholes. God damn. The, uh... That's, pr that's rough. I think they- I think if they run into you, they can like, body check you. And the act of running into you allows them to damage you with physical contact, which is brutal. It's old school video game logic where it's people's- enemies' physical bodies are just you know, the most dangerous thing. You have to watch out for that. Anyway, uh... The first level was pretty straightforward, I just had to go back and replay it in order to unlock all the tribals that I missed the first time, which is kind of why it was the least interesting uh, to replay for that purpose, but we are also learn learning curve and all that, so I was all nervous about like, oh man, I'm replaying the same level several times, I feel bad for the audience. But uh, now we know that like I'm going to be unlocking new guns and abilities and so on, so going back to old levels, potentially as different characters and so on, could be a little more interesting than I expect. But maybe that won't be so bad. Uh, Definitely getting flashbacks to the crashed plane episode of Perfect Dark with Rock Guy, which still causes traumatic memories for Andrew. Just a giant, uncomfortably open area, and then Rock Guy. Sorry if it's unpleasant that I run around in, for, in third person shooty mode all the time. I just kind of it just kind of feels like the smart way to play the game most of the time. Even though the game kind of looks like it's meant to be played this way, for obvious reasons. It's just like, I always feel like I should have my gun ready. And admittedly, I have more control over, like, my camera and everything in that mode. Because here I can just, like, look around manually. Whereas in this mode, left stick runs around, but the camera doesn't follow me that clearly. And then if I press right stick, she strafes. Which is just unhelpful for my ability to do things. This also works so well that I think it might be a way of playing the game that didn't necessarily w actually work on the 64. I'm not sure. I might be kind of cheating a little bit. But at the same time, uh, being confined entirely to the really rough controls that a lot of 64 games had, especially the ones that were shooters, isn't necessarily the best way to revisit those games sometimes. Like, I love Perfect Dark, but when I saw the ability to play it with an Xbox 360 controller with two joysticks for aiming and everything, uh, I never looked back. <laughs> this 
These guys are in a goddamn hurry. Damn. The game gives you such like a positive affirma affirmation sound when you, uh, you know, collect a decapitated head. It's like, wee -hee! It's like when you collect a ring in Sonic or something. But it's way more graphic. There's an edginess to rare games sometimes that's kind of amusing. Like the tri rockets to exit. Okay. There's a certain aspect of like, these games are for kids, right? But then like they keep like kind of overstepping their boundaries because like people who make actual ch children's programming didn't necessarily have a hand in this stuff. So it feels like they're getting away with stuff sometimes. Because there was age rating for kids for games, but the uh, the exact. How do I put it? Like, the rules for it all weren't always the most consistent, necessarily. It's kind of funny that on its surface, Perfect Dark looks more adult. But the things that happen in this game are more graphic than almost anything that happens in Perfect Dark. Doop, that was somewhere. What an unnecessarily massive room. Collecting gold still. I'm trying to avoid the ice because I'm concerned that it hurts you. As you'd kind of expect ice and they get inside of it to hurt. Uh hmm. I said to collect the tri rockets to continue. So I think I need to now backtrack. I think they just opened the other door that was way back here. Collect tri rockets to continue is a strange requirement. Ah, full heal. I needed that. Well, you took your sweet time. Never mind. I've got the merchandise right here. One tri rocket launcher. The ultimate in portable bug busters, believe me. You need this, baby. Yours for only three pieces of gold. Can't help myself. I'm virtually giving them away. Well, what's the matter? Don't say you left your purse at home. Not at all. Let's do business. That's why I was collecting pieces of gold all of a sudden, I guess. Here you go. One tri rocket launcher. Make some noise. Maybe I'll see you later. Hello. We're collecting all new weapons. You had to finish the entire area because you had to collect... You had to defeat every enemy to open the door to the mole, and then you had to search the entire area to get the three gold bars for the mole, including that one that I saw behind the spawn, so good thing I saw that. But, but then they're like, how do we stop him from going forward? I don't know. This gate just says, collect the tri-rocket to continue. Uh... Okay. <laughs> Guess they didn't want to make, like, a whole new key color just for that type. So they're like, uh, logic gate. Do you have this weapon yet? Go get the weapon. <laughs> Ooh, look at that reticle. A little dramatic. This is a reasonable time to save. Click. Oh, I should have copied my save over at the beginning of the session. That's the responsible thing to do. We'll just hopefully get through this session without any anything going wrong. Fucking knock on wood, huh? Oh, not using a tri rocket on you. <laughs> this. I'm, I'm getting reminded of chapter one all of a sudden. Holy shit, man. These ants just fucking run. And you're like, how do I hit them? They're so fast. Ah! There we go. Pistol is only useful in very specific situations, as it turns out. Or something like that.
All right. Uncharacter uncharacteristically easy to, to rescue tribals and an uncharacteristically easy to unlock secret. Weird. Yellow key. You could have just given me the yellow key and have that have that door be the yellow key. That was weird. <laughs> well, I just unlocked six out of eight. Uh, they could have just made the yellow key be in the room with the mole, and then have the door that leads me here be a yellow key door, instead of having to, like, create, like, a unique, like, message to tell me to get the tri-rocket. That was weird. I assume they want me to have the tri-rocket for some reason. Hello. with the tri rockets for it doesn't look like it'd be very easy to hit that with the tri rocket unless the tri rocket homes or something is that just a ch uh, oh that's just a chain of those weird like yeah visor looking guys uh. okay let's go with the pistol we seem to take pot shots at this thing till it goes down Oh, this thing is Satan. Oh, come here. Oh, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Gotcha. Oh, oh. <laughs> he keeps redirecting his fucking. Ah come here. Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh. Okay. That would be relatively hard to shoot in games with better aiming. <laughs> and this isn't that either. Oh. I got him, though. It's almost like a funny joke, rather than something that's apparent, uh, uh, particularly stressful. Because... There's no threat. Nothing's happening. It's just shoot these things, so it's just kind of like a funny, like... Ha 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 ha! Can't get me! I'm an asshole! I'm an asshole! Come get me! As opposed to, like, if that was in the middle of a boss fight, and you had to hit that, and you had, like, ten seconds to hit it before the boss phase reset or something, I would be, like, losing my mind. Yellow. Yellow key card. I need to, like, do a lap around here. How many X's were there? That one required me to kill him. Like, I guess that's what I earned, so I should check this one out first. Otherwise, I could have just left without shooting them, and that felt like it was an optional challenge. Killing those get those guys. My interpretation at the moment. Oh my goodness! You guys are new. Look at their giant grabby pincer faces. Did his head just come off. It did. Holy crap! Guys are. Angry looking faces. Look at the, yeah. These guys are new. That was weird. I was shooting him past the barrel without shooting the barrel. The barrel didn't blow up, but he died behind it. This gun's weird. I haven't used it very much. Can I shoot these? Grubs? Wait, you can shoot the gem! Can you? Yes, you can. Okay. That's funny. I think the grubs are how you go through their way. Or maybe there's another enemy down here. As the door is locked based on enemy count. Hello. Dead! <laughs> the pistol. It tries. Oh, it's opening. Do these doors open? Vela can't open this door. Vela can't open the door. Who can? Okay. Ta-da! 
All I have to do is kill their young. Kill their young. Kill their young. It's so unexpected to find out that the healing gems have physics and bullets can interact with them. Uh, that means that when I saw in the ceiling in that first level on that little rafter, I could have shot down. But now we know that they're just healing items, so it wasn't the most important thing either. Uh, that did damage. Oh boy. I'm a little worried there'd be tribals around here. That would suck. Mow them all down. Fuck y'all. How's everyone feeling in here now, huh? Feeling good? Feeling safe? Ooh. Ammo and upgrades. I can never tell what they're for, so I just kind of eat them up and hope for the best. They might be color-coded in a way that you can interpret, but it's hard to say. That is mine. Oop, that one went places. So, am I supposed to expect that those are different collectibles? That's morbid, but you know. Mizar tokens 4, head count 16. It reset. Is it per level? It must be per level or something. Your Mizar tokens and your, uh... Your heads. Because I had more heads before, I think. This is the door I couldn't open early <gasps> earlier. Yep. Hi, buddy. Die! Done with your shit. Surprised that grenade didn't take him out, but okay. Oh boy. Fuck you! Oh, I just I just killed the big guy with a pistol shot. Interesting that all these yellow doors are happening now after I got the yellow key. The level's downright lousy with them, but it'd be pretty hard to miss the key on the way here. Hey, buddy. You, uh, slowly dying? Takes him a while to die proper, like. It's, uh... I gotta be careful or I'm gonna lose track of how to get around here. They just friendly fired, didn't they? You fools. I also have giant oh my god, he exploded. All of his chunks went everywhere. Do I get more ammo for this gun? Nope. <laughs> it's just part of a torso there. It's like when I was playing Turok rate uh Turok 1 and I was in Turok 2 and stuff where I was just like, wow, these uh these uh death animations are just a bit more violent than I expected. I'm not complaining, I'm just being surprised. Did I get turned around? Nope, apparently not. Okay. <laughs> That's satisfying, uh oh. That's less satisfying, is that his head? <laughs> I picked up his giant head. Oof. He didn't like that. Gun is less effective than you might hope. Die better. Eh. More ammo for guns I don't have yet. You said Vela can't open this door? Yeah. Maybe only ants can?
Might be a little hard to keep track of my environment here, being a series of caves. I almost need to be drawing a map along the way. I think this one opening is new. Do I not need healing? What? You just lost woods me? Oh wait. No, this is the ending, not the beginning. It's just confusing as your ship shows up here. Huh. I mean, I got every tribal. <laughs> I guess that means I'm good. It felt... I felt like I had loose ends, but how bad could it be if I already got every tribal? This is a new level, I assume, and not the same level. <laughs> I assume. I like the idea of you coming in and escaping this place, and you failing the tribal challenge because there was some hiding behind your ship. And they didn't, like, come out while you were escaped. The zombie beetles! I remember zombie beetles! These guys are fucking- these guys freaked me out as a kid a little bit, because they're just creepy. But also, yeah, they have rocket launchers. I think they might have been the, one of the most dangerous enemies in the game or something? I don't remember. It's definitely- look, look, look how fucking big he is! Thank you, giant rocket. I have- I have 20 shots of this now, holy crap. Got me some upgrades. Is that his head? Yep. <laughs> I think that might have been one of the most dangerous enemies in the game, as far as I remember, at least. It's just like a big, giant cyborg monster, and it's just, it just was- it definitely was intimidating. Definitely was concerned as a kid about that enemy type. So we'll have to keep an eye out for him. He did shoot a giant rocket at me, which is ne not generally good for you. <laughs> Spoilers. Rockets is bad for your organs. Hello. What the fuck? There was another one? <laughs> you guys are so spooky when you do that. I, whenever that happens, I want to review the footage and like take a look at it and like check like what was there two of them visible? Were they? I'm genuinely unsure. Like, are they inside of each other and that's why I can't see them, or is it just because they're moving at the same speed on the same patterns with the same animations that you and the same character model that you just. They just perfectly blend into each other's sil silhouettes. It's super spooky when I shoot a guy to death, and then I, and I see his corpse, and then I also still see him alive, and I'm like, no, that's not how this works. That worked, holy crap. Hello, sniper drones, we haven't seen for each other for a while. I've got significantly more lethal ways of dealing with you now, apparently. Hello. Oh. I almost wonder if the slowdown is is there on purpose. There's like a slowdown glitchiness to the game, and it's hard to tell if it's there because it's a limitation of the engine and it's just going to be there forever, or if it's like a glitching, uh, or if it's like an like some sort of glitch that was always there that it wasn't tied to like the performance of the Nintendo 64. Because this game had tons of slowdown. Every 64 game kind of did a lot of the time. Or, for all I know, they did it on purpose to like sell the impact of certain moments by having like certain explosions and things like really make the game like slow down. Because everything gets like slow downy and shaky when you do big blasts, even on this version. Or at least it feels like that. I'm not Digital Foundry. Nope. 
Remember games where you can have more than two guns? Besides Doom, <laughs> the only game that really does that anymore. Where's the head? Ah, I missed it in my dumb use of this camera angle. I could have, like, that's one thing that you can do easily, more easily in this mode, I guess. Okay, so we have a kill all enemies door, which I still haven't succeeded at. There's a purple door, which I've seen a purple door before in a previous level, so that's further reinforcing how much I need to replay at previous levels for that purpose. There's still an enemy hiding from me somewhere. This is a weapon I don't have yet. I hear a guy. But also, the purple door is the exit. It's the end of the level. What is happening? Maybe it just is as simple as I'm missing an enemy? Maybe one of those shield guys just cowered somewhere back here. One of you guys hiding back here? Nope. Well, this is Ood. Eh. Oh, there we go. You have to just not move, not hold forward. If you if you jump straight up, you go shockingly high. We can make this work together. Ooh, is this loot a trap? Because it feels like a trap. Are we good? Still not how doors work, how do like boxes work, but okay. You found a stash of flares. No, not the 70s fashion accessory. <laughs> Tap the R trigger to ignite and again to throw. Am I about to go into like a darkness oriented level where I need flares? That'd be interesting. A sniper rifle? Be sure to make full use of its extensive zoom function. You just gave me two new weapons, just like on the fly. Flare. Whee! The sniper rifle. Um. If I were a game developer, I would map the zoom but up. Uh oh. Okay. Gotcha. When you're aiming with the sniper rifle, you can only strafe left and right with the left stick. Because pressing forward or backwards makes you zoom in and out instead of walk forward and backwards. Which I guess makes sense. Well, that means you can strafe on accident a lot. It's probably mapped to C buttons or, or something originally. Okay. I've got a straight up sniper rifle. Just trying to walk off any ledges with it. <laughs> 